Before I get into today's episode about 49ers fullback Kyle Juszczyk, I just want to let you guys know that today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Of course, SeatGeek, you all know it, you all love it. It's the best place to get tickets to concerts, to sporting events, obviously. You guys like sporting events, I'm assuming, and just plenty of events in general. So if that's something you're interested in, you can get $20 off your first purchase just by using the promo code JKS. That's all you have to do. And so if that is something you're interested in, the link is in the description below, so you can just click on that. You'll save $20 off your first purchase just by using the promo code JKS. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. So the San Francisco 49ers are now 3-0. When a team becomes 3-0, what does everybody say? Well, it's probably just because of their fullback, right? Fullbacks are the whole reason you get the 3-0. Okay, not really. Usually it's the quarterback everyone talks about. But honestly, Kyle Juszczyk has had a huge impact, and he had a very big impact last week against Pittsburgh. I thought he played very well against them, and really was a difference maker in a lot of ways. One way he was making differences was just with plays like this, where, as you see, that's where he is on the screen. He's lined up as a receiver, which actually isn't a terrible idea. I mean, he does line up as a receiver pretty frequently, and it's actually pretty great for San Francisco. A lot of teams will just have fullbacks who are kind of this their worst tight end becomes their fullback, but that is not the case of Yushek. Yushek is an all-around good athlete. And so when he can run routes, now you can put him out as a receiver, and when he is a receiver, you are still going to be expecting him to block. So if you're Pittsburgh, you're probably expecting, you know, him and the other receiver in that area go out to block those two Steelers right there, and then you can simply just send a back over there to the bottom half of the screen. It's a screen pass, and you can gain some yards. And so after this ball is snapped, as you see, Yushek's assigned man is definitely going to be doing his best to try to get around him here. He realizes it's probably going to be a block, so he's going to do his best to just get around him and try to be able to make a tackle. But the problem is, that's exactly what San Francisco wants. Watch how Yushek is just going to just run straight by him, get wide open, and he's able to make a catch. And not just that, but he's going to absolutely murder Minka Fitzpatrick right there. Fitzpatrick's probably thinking, man, I was having more fun in Miami. I didn't think that would happen. But that's another advantage of a play like that, is now you have defensive backs trying to tackle your great fullback in Kyle Yushek. So if you can get him with the ball in his hands downfield, it, just, it takes like a few guys to bring him down. It's just such a huge advantage for San Francisco to have a fullback who can catch passes pretty well, especially because they are a pretty run-heavy team, so just having him in the backfield can really do so much. Just because, really, it helps you set things up. Like, on this play, for example, it's going to be man coverage. And just simply the fact that you check is out there, again, you have to be on alert that it could be a run if there's a fullback in the game. So for Pittsburgh, they are on alert that there could be a run since it's a fullback in the game. But that is not what's going to happen, and instead, you check is going to run that route right there. They're going to try to fool Pittsburgh, and as you see right when this ball is snapped, it is going to work out pretty decently well. That's Yushek's assigned man, and Yushek clearly has a step on him, but only one step. And so here's kind of where having a talented fullback can really come into play here. Because again, if you had just the guy who was your worst tight end, so you convert him to fullback back there, well then just having that little bit of space wouldn't really do too much. If you're slower than your assigned man, he will still be able to beat you, come back, and this really wouldn't be much of an opening at all. But since Yushek can run routes pretty well, and he can accelerate pretty well, watch how he is going to gain enough separation, and he even makes a really impressive catch before finally going down. And San Francisco also just likes to run just sort of creative plays, you know, Kyle Shanahan, he's definitely the kind of guy who would have a whiteboard out and just starts writing down stuff, just because... You know, they like to get creative with things, and one of the ways they do it is a play like this, where Yushek and the halfback who are in the game are both going to be faking as though it's going to be a run to the right side of the screen, but then they're going to cut back over to the left side of the screen. Just to be clear, this isn't some unbelievably creative play, but, you know, it's just it's something a little bit different than what a lot of teams will do. So the advantage in a play like this is it could fool Pittsburgh, especially could fool the guys at the second level to move over to the right side of the screen more and get them more out of position. However, the disadvantage is it's just going to take an extra step or two to get past that first level, and that's actually going to be a problem because of Devin Bush right there, who's going to do a great job of stepping in between the gap where really the halfback would want to run to. And so for Yushek, I mean, this is all up to him right now. He's going to have to try to clear Devin Bush out of the way as much as possible, which is going to be tough because Bush has perfect positioning here. But watch this hit he's going to lay on Bush here. And at first you might say, well, that's not really that impressive. I mean, sure, he moved him about a yard or so, but that didn't really do too much. And admittedly, it isn't some sort of highlight reel level play, but if you look at Bush, really, he only has one arm on the 49ers halfback right here, so that's not really going to be enough to bring him down. Well, I mean, it will be enough to bring him down eventually, but just you can't stop him right in his tracks, essentially. So, if Yushek was not able to fully complete that block right there, he could have made a tackle instantly, and it would have only gained about one yard or so. 
But because he was able to push Bush out of the way, and he's going to be able to continue pushing Bush, they're able to get the ball basically five yards down the field. So honestly, his block on that one was the difference in four yards. That was honestly the difference in them gaining maybe zero yards to them gaining a solid gain. That's the value in having a good fullback. Just any fullback in that situation probably wouldn't have made that block too well, and there would have been no space to get through. There was also a play like this, where San Francisco was just going to have one of the matchups right there on the right side of the screen. And while typically, the guy trying to block the linebacker on the right side of the screen would be the center, since you have a fullback in the game, now you can swing your center around to block Devin Bush over there, and then you can have Yushek be the guy who's blocking Mark Barron right there. And so for Yushek, his whole job here is get Barron out of the way. You know, look for somebody to hit and then hit him, and obviously it's going to be Mark Barron here. So as you see right here, he's lining up Barron essentially. First, he's moving to his right, but then he sees when Barron is going to get to the gap that's sort of right in the middle of the screen right now then he's gonna say okay I'll take you out here and unlike that bush play where he was able to get him just enough out of the way that they were able to gain some yards here he's gonna just completely take Baron out of the play I mean Baron wasn't even able to get a hand on the back and you're able to gain a lot of yards just a great block there by Yushek there's also this play where what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a run to the right side of the screen and so for San Francisco what they're gonna do is they're gonna have their right tackle and also a tight end both go out to block those two Steelers who are right over there and then Yushek will simply block that Steeler right there and again it's a run to the right side of the screen so sometimes if you can just get him out of the way in any direction that's totally okay if he goes too far to the right side of the screen well then that's fine your halfback can run in between you and the tight end and if he runs too far to the left side of the screen well then your halfback can simply just break it to the outside so it's kind of a win win either way. And so after this ball is snapped, watch what Yushek is going to do here, and most importantly, just watch his hand placement. I mean, this is too easy at this point. What can you do if you're a defensive player trying to get around Yushek at this point? You, you, nothing, really. He has his right arm on your chest area, and he has his left arm kind of on that shoulder right over there, so he's just going to be easily able to push you out of the way. You can't really get around to either side. I mean, this is just, it's a disaster if you're a defensive player, but just Really technically well done by Yushek right here, and watch how we're just going to be able to easily push him out of the way and take him out of the play. Having a guy like Yushek is just such an X factor, where he can block like an offensive lineman can, but he can also run routes pretty decently well, and he's a pretty good athlete and can make some catches. And so when you add on to the fact that he has a guy in Kyle Shanahan who just likes to be creative, it's really a match made in heaven, and he really is able to thrive there in San Francisco. One more play, and this is a play where fullbacks can really come in handy, is in a goal line type situation. Like, essentially, the way it's going to work is that San Francisco is going to have their right tackle just block the guy in front of him right over there. And then San Francisco is going to have their tight end, George Kittle, actually be the one who's blocking that Pittsburgh Steeler right over there. And it'll be the left guard who's going to pull over and block that Steeler. So with all this, it creates some interesting angles, but it could create some space for the halfback to get through him and get to a touchdown. So that's why the San Francisco 49ers are going to be running this type of play. And so then where does Yushek come in? Well, he's going to be right there, and he's lead blocking. You know, that's often what a fullback does. It's just lead block. So he's going to run through that gap and just try to clear out whoever gets in that area. Because in a goal line situation, it's very common that someone will try to shoot the gap and try to make a tackle. You don't have to worry about giving up a big play, obviously, because there's no bigger play than one yard gains at this point. So if you want to shoot a gap, you absolutely can, and oftentimes it can be the only way to stop a play like this. And as you see, there is a Pittsburgh player who is going to do his best to try to get in the way and try to make sure that he can make a play on this one. So it's Yushek's block that's going to be important here. If Yushek can clear him out of the way, this could make for an easy touchdown, but if he whiffs on his block, it could create for a loss of yards and then they have to retry. However, Yushek does in fact finish off that block and they're able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. So yeah, that's what I thought of Yushek's performance. You know, I always try to give some love for some of the lesser known players and lesser known positions. Obviously, fullbacks just don't get the media attention that, you know, a quarterback does and for a fair reason, I mean, a quarterback definitely has more of an impact on a game than a fullback, but fullbacks are still important, especially when you have such a wild card like Yushek in a perfect system in the Kyle Shanahan system. It really is one of those things where clearly Yushek and Shanahan just, they play so well together. I mean, it's, it's a perfect fit for them, and it is a lot of fun to watch. Of course, there's plenty of guys I could have made a video about when it comes to the 49ers. I mean, obviously, there's Jimmy Garoppolo, so many players on their defense. They st I still haven't made a video of George Kittle this season. There's so many guys that have definitely done their part so far. But I wanted to make a U-Check video for a couple of reasons. One of those reasons was just simply because fullbacks don't really get any credit. A lot of times, it is a very thankless job, but they can be very important, and especially in this type of system. Kyle Shanahan loves to use fullbacks, and you know what? When you have a guy like U-Check, why not use fullbacks? I mean, he's just... He's a really great player, and it's he is, again, he's fun to watch. I know I said that before, I'll say it again. He's just a lot of fun to watch. 
He's just one of those guys where he's a he's a unique talent, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he and the rest of the 49ers will do next, you know, for the rest of the season. Obviously, they kind of drew the short straw and getting a week four bye. That's certainly unfortunate, but we'll just have to see how they do coming off of the bye and how they do later on in the season. So yeah, that's what I thought of Uchek's performance. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.